Namo Amitabha Buddha. Hello everyone. So I had another good news that I love to share with you. So as some of you know that we now have four daily Nian Fo sessions every day. One starts at 4.30 a.m. China time and the morning session is at 8 a.m. China time and the afternoon session is at 3 p.m. China time and the evening session is at 9 p.m. China time. So from next Monday onwards, the 23rd of November, you can access all these four different events using the same Zoom link, which I'll drop the link below in the description box to make it easier for everyone. So you won't click the wrong link and enter into the wrong session. So it will just be under one link and you can access all the four daily events. And also from next Monday, the 23rd of November, We'll keep the room open for 24 hours and we'll have volunteers playing the Amitabha Buddha chant, Amitabha chant, or sometimes even Guan Yin chant in the background for anyone to come in and practice because some of you may not be free to join our daily sessions or you prefer to practice on your own. So feel free to drop into this room anytime. So we'll really keep it open for 24 hours with beautiful chant and music playing in the background and for you to practice Nian Fo or just to enjoy the music. So it should create more opportunity for all of you to practice Nian Fo no matter where you are in the world. So this is really a global community for people all around the world to come in and practice. And for our daily Nian Fo sessions, we also have different facilitators rotating each week. And there is also the extended session on Thursday morning and Sunday afternoon, which I usually take. And in these extended sessions, there will be a Dharma talk and more sharing and discussions. So I hope to see more of you in our future sessions. And I know some people in our group, they want to take the three refuges and the five precepts. But due to the pandemic situation, they can't really visit a temple. So I have asked my Dharma teacher, Master Renshan, and see if he can give the ceremony online. And Master Renshan has really kindly agreed to offer an online ceremony for all of the people who want to take the three refuges and the five precepts. So if you're interested, you can also join our Lotus Family One Facebook group and to let us know. Uh, the only requirement is that you need to have a WeChat because in China, we all use WeChat. So these are really rare and precious opportunity for people to take the three refuges and the five precepts. And some people ask, does that mean I will become a monk after that? No, you will not become a monk. So this is really basic and fundamental steps in Buddhism. And the five precepts are really for lay Buddhists. So think of Buddhism, it's like a school for awakening and Buddha is our very good teacher. By taking the refuges in the three jewels, the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha, means that we are relying on the Buddha our very good teacher, the completely awakened one, to guide us out of suffering, to guide us on the path of awakening. And we are also relying on the Dharma, the teaching of the Buddha, and also the Sangha, the monastic order and community that fully devoted into the practice of Buddha Dharma. So we are really relying on the teaching and wisdom of the three jewels to help us liberate from all sufferings in life and to progress on the path of awakening. So taking the refuge in the three jewels are like we are students registering into the school of Buddhism to become proper students of the Buddha. So taking the five precepts means we are committed on the path of awakening, that we want to uphold a higher standard for our body, speech and mind. So the five precepts are no killing, no stealing, no sexual misconduct, no lying and no intoxicants. So the five precepts are really like general guidelines for our everyday life to help us to be more disciplined in our actions, speech and mind. So to avoid suffering and to generate better karma for us in the future. And by observing the precepts, it will definitely help us towards progressing on the path of awakening. So it's a bit like after we register into the school, we take the precepts. We agree to follow the rules given by our very good teacher, the Buddha.
And some people ask what happens if we break the precepts because we are not enlightened yet so our conduct is far from perfect and we might even break the precepts on a daily basis just think about how many ants and insects we might have killed simply by walking on the roads so if we break the precepts then we shall be repentant and that is why we keep doing the repentance words every day in our daily sessions and in Pure Land Buddhism, the best way to be repentant is actually also to practice Nian Fu with a sincere mind. When we can recite the name of Amitabha Buddha sincerely, then our minds will be purified. And the purer the mind, the more wholesome our conduct will be. So it's really the intention behind taking the precepts that matters the most. So I'll actually make more videos on these topics to explain them in more details in the near future. So I look forward to seeing more of you in our daily Nianfo sessions. Namo Amitabha Buddha. Namo Amitabha Buddha.